My name is Kanshana Velagedra, and I'm a committer and a member of Apache Software Foundation. My day job is working as a, a software development manager at Amazon, uh, and I'm uh, a part of the open source program office um, in Amazon. Um, last year, in 2023, uh, I, I had a post with the, with the Apache contribution, mainly because uh, I joined uh, the Apache, uh, contributing to the Apache Software Foundation uh, very early on in my life, and then I passed through my life events, so I had two children. Uh, so I had my own face to uh, come back. And last year, in 2023, in Halifax, no, uh, in Halifax, Canada, uh, the first uh, North America Apache, uh, community over code, uh, what got me to, uh, got me back into the, the community, uh, and I, uh, I, I wasn't talking in the conference. I don't know why this uh, flicker is not working. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know why this is not working? Sorry, um, and I, uh, I I met bunch of developers who are all from the Apache uh, Apache community, but they knew about the open source projects, and they were using open source software, and they had a parallel uh, parallel conference, and they asked, "What is community over code?" And that got to me think people who are using open source software, involved in the open source software, still we need to call out what is the community over code for them. And uh, what is a community? So back in the day, the Halifax, North Scotia, is uh, enduring, they have an enduring culture of growing. They are, they, they historically, uh, this is a very, uh, very much of a traditional in their community as well. So if you look at this community, you see that a person is uh, holding a stick and a bunch of people are rowing that. What happens that person who is holding in the stick is disappear from the space? None of these rowers will be existing in the, in the background. They will disappear. So there was, there's a commander who is actually get going this little community and to get the work done. What about this? This community, people look happier and much more motivated. <laughs> and still, there's a coach who is more competent, know about the space, and still he's guiding. That person has to be sit there to guide them correctly. He's setting the vision. And people seem to be enjoying. What if that coach is not, doesn't exit, exit in that boat? People will manage to get into the end or maybe reach to the target. But what about the two differences jobs that they are doing in there, one out facing, one some uh, facing to the targets? Are they really sharing a common goal? Uh, the coach goal is to get them to the right directions, the other people to follow them. Still, there is a missing uh, piece of uh, freedom. What about this? This is a V formation the birds use to fly to the long distance. The, the bird on the tip of the V formation is a spontaneous leader. At that right of the moment, that bird has the is the most competent person in the team, takes the direction, and communicate really well to the other, uh, other birds uh, to form that flock. With the flock, they, they reach to their destination. So idea of this um, V formation is my analogy for the Apache Software Foundation, because we share our hat, we, we change our hats in our community, and everybody is a leader, and everybody uh, has the opportunity, equal opportunity to form. In this flock, when the leading bird is, is, is the, in the scientifically, that leading bird is the one who's burning a lot of energy to get the rest of the team into the destination. And there's high chance that 
bleeding bird can get tired very, uh, very easily. So there should be other birds who are, uh, if there is a change of a pattern or the design, there could be other leading birds who spontaneously take the lead on that. So this V-shaped formation can long last until three birds left on that V-frog. This is the synergy that we have in the Apache Software Foundation. That right of that time of that point of time, the bird who is really capable of driving that community with the changes and sharing the hat is our mentoring and the community um, diversity that we provide within the um, Apache Software Foundation. So the, when people ask what is community over code, this is the analogy I used to explain what that is. So this, the, the, the benefit of this learning is it's more sustainable. It's very res resilient until we reduce up to the three birds, they can maintain the V shape and reach the goal. So before diving into the, uh, the Apache Software Foundation and the values of, uh, uh, the, before decoding the uh, community of a code, I would like to um, present some origin and the evolution of uh, Apache Software Foundation. Um, before forming the Apache Software Foundation, there was a group of people uh, called uh, Internet Engineering Task Force uh, who actually brought you the internet today. Uh, uh, they, the way that they uh, work was on rough consensus and running the code because it was a, uh, when, when you produce the internet, you have to uh, agree to the uh, publicly available resource called RFC, um, request for comments. And with that, the way that they got the, the broader agreement onto that with the rough consensus, where that the people more agreed on, that is uh, with the code, with the running code, that is where that they, the, that broad uh, decision were made upon what they agreed on. With that, inspiring with that, the decision making was very easy, and there was a lot of collaboration in that. Realizing that goodness, in 1999, Apache Group started. I think Rich was part of that. Can I see from the audience who was on that HTTP? Shen, were you there? No, uh, the, the, yeah, I think that. Okay. So, um, and then. Uh, I was lucky enough to work one of those, uh, Greg Stein, I, I think it was, uh, he was there, and then Ken Ko was there. Um, so eight members were hacking on an abandoned HTTP server code, uh, and they kind of uh, used the same mechanism and found the uh, success of how to be resilient, how to be, more, how to be collaborative, and that led to uh, incorporate the Apache Software Foundation in, 99, uh, in 1999. So today, uh, we, we, if you look at the sustainability of, of that pattern or that collaborative, uh, that those values, we have 300 plus um, project initiatives and 8,400 committers around the world. And we are practicing the community over code today. And that gives you uh, 200, um, 10 committees and manage 297 projects and uh, many, many other uh, local events, forums, and a lot of dynamics of uh, Apache Software Foundation's communities. Moving on to LAS. The philosophy of community over code at ASF is a foundational, so we build upon that. This is our value, this is how we get measured. Uh, of our goodness. So it's not about uh, writing great code, it's about the community health, and also to feel that everybody's voice heard, and providing the equal opportunity to everyone in the community, even you cannot write the code, if, even you uh, cannot um, express your ideas through the words, but you can write something and show it to us, or you stood up, stand up a uh, uh, stage and talking to someone and teaching them how, to, how what is the Apache way. Any constructive collaboration is is it matters, and we deeply care about the health of the health of the community 
Uh, what is the health of the community is feeling that everyone has welcomed within the community and feeling of that you have an opportunity to build your merits. Um, that is why we, we call it, we prioritize our health and we wanted to, we wanted to make sure that we, we have given the opportunity and the collaboration for you to raise your voice and come and contribute with the open arm. Um, community over code, people ran into a bit of confusion when Apache conference, Apache Con turned into a community over code. So when I say I'm flying to Apache uh, community over code, people ask, what is that? And this is one of the drives that the drive, drivers to uh, address in this presentation. Um, it's not just a slogan or a conference, it's more than that. That is our foundation, that is a principle we follow, so we branded our conferences, rebranded our conferences as Community Over Code. Apache Bay, uh, this is the principle of the uh, Community Over Code in little deeper. Uh, rough consensus and working, uh, working code and the constructive work. So rough consensus are broad agreements. We are not looking at the narrow agreements, we are looking at the broad uh, agreements. That comes from the community. And how do we do that? You, you, jo you don't uh, put a big statement or an email, but you get something working in there, or some constructive work add on to that, and then ask the community, uh, the community um, thought about it. So that's how we start. So that happens. Uh, and, and all, all uh, every situation is not um, a situation of a bed of rose, so we have to handle uh, disagreements. But this early on rough consensus and uh, the work, working code or the constructive work help us to create a feedback loop. We will know early enough what the community think about this initiative. So that help us to refine ourselves. And lazy consensus is, uh, there are two, two consensus. In the lazy consensus is implicit approval. If somebody uh, doesn't respond to anything, that, that adds an implicit approval. You are, you, if you don't say anything, we, we think that, okay, you agree with that. Objects and vetoes, we, uh, we have people, we, we, we welcome people's opinions and the disagreements, so that is where that, the, the disagreements drive. People can disagree with reasons. And if you disagree, you have to uh, give a reason why you are not aligned with that idea. And this whole rough consensus and the lazy consensus provide us really good um, efficient decision, the, really good way to make efficient decision making. And small rever reversible steps. And when you start with the work, uh, we kind of like stub stumble upon the, the agile uh, methodology that you are already familiar with the industry if you are working for software industry. Uh, we have small reversible steps because we take the discussion first to the community and we know what the, the adjustment would be. With that, we take small steps to uh, to make it right or um, not to do that. So decision making plus the action items will be very efficient with the lazy consensus. And any constructive co contribution and merits. You don't have to really code, uh, the, learn how to code, but there are other ways of contributing, uh, building awareness of the Apache way or having, um, forming a local Apache community and help other people to help other people to contribute back to the community. That's that all construct uh, contributions, and that earns merits. And what when I when I tell somebody the, the some of the, uh, external parties, I'm a member of Apache Software Foundation. For how long and when it's going to expire? That that's one of the co common questions that I get uh, get to answer for people who doesn't know. So. Merit doesn't expire in within the Apache Software Foundation. Merits that you um, get uh, by being active on those uh, constructive work that won't get uh, expired. 
as long as there are certain uh, rules to maintain uh, your uh, activities, but option is also given to you if you, can, if you want to go to the emeritus status or the, the past status of your uh, inact or accept your inactivity, you were given options. And these merits are not transferable. From me to you, my, my mentor never transferred his credit to me, but I have to build on my own uh, credibility within the community. So it's not transferable. Merits gets you access, get authority based on the public earned merits. So once you become a user to the contributor, contribute to the committer, that path give you the access. More access to the repositories, more you contribute to the other project. And when you earn the trust, that is where you get the access. Um, in a bit, I'm going to talk through, about, talk through the Apache pyramid. Uh, the community pyramid, uh, I'll be explaining more about how that, how, how you get the access in there. So when the merits earn, we recognize personally and publicly within the community. So that helps individual to build uh, publicly earned merits. That means everybody know your credibility, at least within your local community or the, your project community, so people know um, what you have done to the community and your, uh, uh, the merits that you have earned. So keep building consensus. That means keep the uh, collaboration and uh, having that uh, synergy through the community is uh, making uh, more transparent decisions and using those mechanism are the, the build consensus within the, uh, uh, the community. So these are concepts, but those are also good intentions. We need to know what are the mechanism in place uh, as an organization, uh, because we are an organization, uh, we need to have a certain mechanism in place. These are some practical mechanisms that happening within the communities. So discussion over code, not a prose. It's not a, if long email doesn't describe anything, where's the work? We need to discuss over code or we need to discuss over constructive other work. So proposal can be accepted. We need to see the practicality of that. Guiding community directions through rough consensus means we give the opportunity for um, the community to look at what, what, what is, happen, what, what is going to happen next. And uh, balancing ASF processes with the flexibility by law, so Apache Software Foundation is a registered organization. With that, we have to deal with the law, but we have to keep the balancing and get going the community, more, community over code momentum with that. So we have the flexibility, uh, we cover by the bylaws, and also we give the opportunity for community over code being flexible, listening to be more human and listen, listen to the uh, community what their decisions are. When things are going wrong, um, the people who earn the, the merits, they jump and advise. So there are guidance available for that. Uh, the way that we make decisions, we have metrics. Yes, an example for the merits. Uh, the merits are, for example, Let's say that you send a, um, you find a bug. You work on a project, you find, uh, you find a bug, and then you report to the Apache Software Foundation. In that project, they have a separate. Yes, and then if you have the technical capability, you take forward a patch for that, a fix for that. And then um, the, the, the community support you to take take the codes, code to the next level, and then code will be promoted to the uh, original repository. So that is, so you fix, ultimately fix the bug. So you give, give back, give, you gave back to the, com uh, the community fixing a bug, so you earn the merits. And the metrics, and uh, metrics, uh, we, we, Maintain certain metrics. You can avail uh, our metrics are public and it's on, on the internet. We use some anecdotes and learn lessons uh, and preserve communication. What happens in the, the past in the community? We use those data to make decisions and um, constant voting and vetoes. 
So every decisions are made on the mailing list publicly, collaboratively, um, through the public mailing list. Uh, so those are the moving on to the uh, the mechanism part two. Uh, so ASF is registered as 501c3 nonprofit organization. Still, we are an organization. When there is an organization, there should be a organizational oversight, and there should be a technical oversight. So organizational oversight. Uh, probably you may, can I see how many of you are new to, uh, can I see the hands of people who are participating for the community over code for the first time? Yeah, that's a, quite a few hands in there. Yay. <laughs> who knew about this and over, organizational oversight in the Apache Software Foundation? <laughs> okay, I'm glad that I had this list. So, since we are an organizational, this is a bylaw part, we have to have an organizational oversight to sustain as an organization. We, uh, open source is a moving target. Uh, 20 years back, open source is not today. Gen AI do a do lot of things now, and we, have to, we are releasing this for the public good, and we need to uh, safeguard our organization. So organizational oversight, I would like to start from the technical oversight. So in a, in a project, in an Apache project, uh, once you start as a user, like you ask about the merits, and then they become, that's a user. You started using a software, and then you become a committer because you added more merits, and you get the access to the repository, and uh, you end up being a committer. You, you earn the merits, and community recognize your effort and propose you as a committer. Committer means that you get the read access on the repository, and you can keep independently uh, fixing bugs and uh, Im do the improvements. Once you become a committer, and there will be a PMC, Project Management Council, that they are more uh, experienced, and they, have the they are the steering, uh, steer steering wheel of the project. So when they over that is the technical oversight part. So they are responsible fixing the vulnerabilities and the security issues, making the project decisions, but all these happens on the consensus. Either rough or lazy consensus, all the decisions were, are made on the, uh, uh, on the community. The organizational oversight is upon this, these uh, members of the, once you become a committer, or if you contribute more into the uh, multiple projects and engage on more community development, when, when the community recognizes your contributions, you can become a member. Once you become a member, you have a, we have a nine, uh, nine members of board of directors. You can become one of those board, board of directors. And uh, that comes from this technical oversight. People start from there, mostly and uh, get into the, the members, and the members uh, and the board of directors, members will elect the, uh, the board of directors. Board of direction, uh, directors, they, don't they, they hardly interact with the community, how they uh, drive their projects, but they oversight for the overall operations. And they contact the PMC if, something, if they see some red flags in, in, in the community. Um, and the members are the decision makings who goes to the board of directors. And board of directors have 10 officers uh, to run the uh, organizational uh, legal aspects, and those are subject matter expertise. Um, any questions or anything like that on this line? No? Uh, this is a community pyramid. So he asked about the the merit. So you uh, start using the Apache software as a user, and then you start to uh, explore the software, and then you find the goodness or the faults about it, and you start reporting, fixing things. While this contribution get going for a bit, uh, when the when you build that, when you earn that merit within the community, you can become a committer. And once you become a committer, uh, you get more access uh, to the information, and you take the lead. Remember that uh, tip of the. Um, tip of the V formation, the bird behavior. 
when you become that, you, you will, when you do a lot of responsibilities like that, you can become a PMC. So what in this pyramid, the arrow up depends on how you climb this ladder up is, is uh, mainly I mentioned uh, four attributes. Meritocracy, work who, uh, people who work hard deserve well. And uh, that means whatever your contributions are measures to go up to the ladder because we operate on the concepts and the community believe and recognize your uh, effort pub personally and publicly. Openness, we are on an internet infrastructure, our communication and everything, decision making and everything uh, on a broader, um, happens on a broader visibility. And quality mentorship. So when you become a use and contributor, they are the foundation fine, fine, already foundation gives you different level, access to different level of knowledge. As a user, what you can do, as, as a, a developer you can do, uh, if you are an architect, what you can do. So there are different um, resources for different knowledge uh, levels. And also the mentorship. In the community, everyone, is every, everyone likes to grow their community. So, so there's a welcoming uh, opportunity and an equal opportunity in the, in the quality mentorship within the Apache Software Foundation communities that they help people to grow. It could be Again, those are on those V formation. Today, you will have a one mentor guiding you, reviewing your code, and giving the feedback. And at the next uh, couple of months, there could be somebody else, but there will be somebody who will be helping out. Um, and collaboration is as a user, you might know a problem that you already discovered, and this another newbie comes and asks about uh, uh, the same question. You are free to uh, teach that person uh, what you have learned. That is the cool thing about the community. You, you can be a teacher for the things that you um, already learn. And there are archives. We, are, we have the, the superpower, mailing archives. We have history of mails that discussions had archives so people can use that um, before asking a question so they can be a already um, seasoned Apache community person by looking at those resources. Um, moving on to the next. This is our internet-based infrastructure. Everything is internet. This is a part of the openness that I talk about. Um, so we have a, a very small infrastructure team at the ASF. Uh, they provide the internet we um, infrastructure-wise. So we have to do the incubation. What is an incubation? Uh, when there's a community that wanted to get going a new proposal, new project work, uh, that you need a code repository, that you need some um, onboarding time to incubate your projects, that provides through the infrastructure. And that in incubation pace, so VP of incubation, he said, if you have new idea, uh, Justin, so reach out to him, he know, uh, and help you out. Anybody can uh, participate on an uh, incubation for submitting a proposal and a, probably a POC uh, and request to incubate your project. So, and the code repositories, uh, this, is, uh, this is a huge part of responsibility. All, code, all the code repositories who are active are available to access, download, uh, reuse it, rebuild it and sell it. Uh, we really don't uh, pay attention what you do with that code. Uh, that's why the Apache software found uh, Apache license has been more business friendly uh, license, uh, and uh, this is where the world relies on for software. Um, learning material as a newbie to the the PMT PMC to uh, anybody that you want to become, the documents are readily available via the internet. So you can, it's uh, categorized, there's a project directory. From the project directory, you can land. Most of the, the projects uh, have followed the similar pattern of, uh, pattern of uh, documentation. Like there will be a basic user guide, beginner guide. There will be a quick start that you can follow a few quick steps and uh, get, your, get your hands dirty with the project. And then if you want a deep dive, there could be architecture document and uh, sample running documents and also 
you can ask question while you are doing that you can ask uh, the questions from the uh, mailing list uh, build pipeline so we are on github mostly but the github we we in case of github down we we have done some uh, recovery uh, mirror, mirroring uh, tech, uh, mechanism in there but mainly we are on github and svn so github of, offers its own uh, ci cd pipelines but that GitHub Enterprise are located for the ASF that, that, that need to be healthy, that being taken care of uh, by the ASF uh, infrastructure team. And this, uh, all, all other operational work, communication, decision making, uh, collaboration, even the mentorship happen via the, uh, via the internet infrastructure. We have uh, Slack channels, we have mailing lists, and uh, we have different forums and um, different mechanism used in there, but attaching to one um, internet infrastructure. The impact of community over code, uh, sustainability and the innovation. So we, we are completing a 25 years uh, to develop the software uh, the world relies on. Uh, and it's 80% of websites runs on Apache Web Server and in the world. We develop soft software from mobile apps to the space shuttle, weather channel to move. I'm sorry, the weather channel to the moving uh, movie streaming. So any recognized industry, finance, healthcare, education has been using the uh, Apache software. So automatic, how this happens? Uh, because the automatic org organic community of culture that we ensure the diversity and inclusion through the community over code. You just need a GitHub profile and an email address is the basic two things and we don't care what's your background, what you're, or what you're coming from, what, you're, what language that you talk, or what company you, do, you work, uh, or if you work or not, uh, we, we, we do not know anything uh, until uh, you become a committer and get us SLA. I think there, there's a, one question uh, to add your real name and a signature. Uh, that's once you become a committer. So that, uh, with that, some data analysis on the GitHub reveal that community over code, 30% uh, higher issue resolution rate. That means, People who operate and uh, who, people who practice the community over code principles, they have higher resolution they, when, they, when they have a bug uh, density. There's a 30% of people out of that bug density is, is uh, getting resolved because of the community over code, because there's a community, sustainable community to rely on. And 25, uh, better contributor retention. So contributors get tired. Um, I was talking to Rich a couple of days back, and then he was saying, how do you keep that uh, momentum going within the Apache Software Foundation? It's been, I feel so, it's been almost 20 years that I'm with the Apache Software Foundation, and why? I always wanted to come back. I had my own faces, but I always always come, wanted to come back and contribute because that welcomeness, that inclusiveness that I felt all through my journey had got me to keep contributing and talking about the Apache Software Foundation. So once you, this is also like the Zen. It's hard to explain standing on a stage, but you need a little bit of practice. And there are the organization, uh, who actually inspired by SF Linux Foundation, Mozilla Foundation, and other businesses. So good uh, resources to practice community over code as a, at ASF. Um, Community.apache.org has handful of good information. Uh, please go, to, go through the I'll be meet. Uh, if you have further question, I, I can meet you personally as well. I would like to give you a few minutes to answer some questions. <laughs> 